Last year, I saw several seniors die because they could not afford their bills and had to decide on paying rent, on buying their medication or food, or paying their utility bills. Many Americans face hard choices each day. Do I pay for my prescriptions or heat? Do I buy food for my family or pay the electric bill? And for the most vulnerable in our society, these choices can mean life or death. Since 1981, the Low Income Home Energy Assistance Program, or LIHEAP, has provided families living well below the poverty line with help to pay their utility bills. LIHEAP is a critical uh, link to economic security in uh, the lives of last year over five million American families, American households. It uh, helps them to uh, afford home energy, which is a basic human need, just like water or shelter. LIHEAP is a program that actually saves lives. One of the things we find all too often is that people make very unhealthy choices in order to pay their energy bills. 47% of our Native American population in our Lebanon County service area um, choose between paying their energy bills and either paying their prescriptions or putting food on the table. The LIHEAP program is not welfare, but provides short-term grants directly to households that face losing their heat or electricity during the worst cold of the winter or heat of the summer. A heat wave swept across the United States with sweltering temperatures. The West is on fire weather-wise. Las Vegas may hit 115 today, Boise, Idaho, 102. One of the things that people don't realize is that more people pass away each year from heat-related emergencies than they do cooling emergencies. Um, that's for one. And so um, our state, we have to really be conscious of that because we do have a, a, a lot of elderly, elderly population. We have a, a, um, a lot of children. Traditionally, the LIHEAP program has focused on providing heating assistance to cold weather states, but skyrocketing energy costs and brutal heat waves led Congress to expand the program in 2006. Potentially, LIHEAP is in the midst of an interesting transition away from being a regional program that really focuses on cold weather states with a set aside for emergencies in warm weather states to really being a national program for the first time. In 2006, Congress allocated $3.2 billion for LIHEAP. This money helped almost 6 million American households, including the elderly, disabled persons, the working poor, and families with young children. The reality is that 32 million households are actually eligible for LIHEAP, but the program is not fully funded. One of the questions with LIHEAP is whether or not this is a federal obligation, and the answer is clearly it is. LIHEAP, when we run out of money, it's over, and that's the real problem. We only have enough money to serve about 16 percent of the eligible population, for example, where for food stamps, there's enough money to serve all eligible households, or for example, student loans. There's not an end to the program. Congress just automatically appropriates more money. For a law heap, we haven't reached that kind of agreement yet, and that's what's so troubling, and that's why every year we have to come back and fight for funding. Law heap at $1.9 billion is basically at the same level that we started with in, uh, more than 25 years ago. So if, uh, if nothing else, in the last five years, we've seen a 44% uh, increase in fuel oil costs. We've seen a 35% increase in the cost of natural gas. We've seen a 17% cost in electricity, and all of those sources of heat have gone up, and yet we've seen little or no uh, increase in the amount of assistance available. This is a program that works, it's trusted, it's efficient, it's proven. The infrastructure is in place in many states. We need to grow the program, we need to fully fund it, we need to get to the point where it truly is a national program, not a regional program, but one that has the ongoing federal support and commitment that it really deserves. This is just heartbreaking to know that our country, who is always willing to help other countries out, seems to forget the heart and soul of our own land. When we talk about disparities between different social groups, um, LAHIB does something else too. It, it keeps the lights on. Um, it allows children to do their homework. Uh, it allows uh, families to eat together at a table. 
And so there are some things that LIHEAP does that go beyond just providing heat and cooling, but it's providing stability for a family. Fully funding the LIHEAP program is an important investment in America's economic future. When low-income households must make the choice between heating and eating, or they forego medical care and other basic needs to pay utility bills, there is a cost to all of us. LIHEAP is not about comfort. It's about providing a safety net for our most vulnerable neighbors.